Hello, I'm Jessica. Thank you so much for joining me for today's seated arms and core workout. You will need your chair and a set of dumbbells to get going. We are gonna get everything set up and let's go ahead and get into that warm up right now. Great job here. Weights start underneath the chair and give me a few shoulder rolls here. Bring the shoulders all the way up, all the way back, and then stretch them all the way down. Let's reverse this and bring them forward. Last one here, right ear over to the right shoulder. Neck roll down through the center, left ear over, left shoulder slow and easy here. Let your upper body get ready for today's work at its own pace. Don't force anything. Plenty of time to get into it all. Last one here. Great job. Hands to the hips and feel for movement. So I don't want you moving from the hips. I want movement coming from the core. Right arm over to the left side, pull it back in. As you breathe out, pull those abs in. Great, warm up through the core. Big breath in in the middle. Exhale, flatten through the core, back to the center. Last set here. Great job, into the center. Let's go ahead, take those arms out to the sides. Make sure that the shoulders don't climb up high into the neck or ears. Nice circles forward here. Watch for bouncing in the core, keep that to a minimum. Abs hold the trunk of the body nice and solid. Roll it back. Turn those palms up and again, roll it forward. Roll it back, hopefully noticing a little bit of warmth coming into the body, getting oxygen and extra circulation to all of these muscles. Bring it in right here. Nice torso rotations. Again, watch for movement in those hips. Good, think about engaging the core, bringing it in to support the trunk of the body here and create stability rather than pushing everything forward and out. We don't wanna push the abs out and we don't wanna push down. Great job, pull them up and in. Last set here, great job. Wiggle those arms out. Let's go ahead, grab our weights and get into the exercises. This is a no repeat workout. So once something is done, it is the last you are gonna see of it for today. So that uh, I really like no repeat workouts because somehow it just seems to go by a little bit faster that way. We're gonna start here, palms down, elbows in to the sides. Open the hands as far as you can without forcing. Bring them back in, trying to not let the elbows leave the rib cage. So we're working on a little bit of rotator cuff strength and stability here. It does take good form so that those bigger, stronger muscles don't take over. Smooth and steady here. Core is supporting you. Three more here. Feel those biceps warming up. 
last one. Great job. Left hand can fold to the thigh and you can even get that foot back and out of the way. Make sure that you didn't just push the stomach forward. Pull it back. I caught myself there. Right arm presses up, lower down. more here. Switch it out. Left arm here. Smooth and steady. Watch for movement in the trunk of the body. Core muscles are working. Stabilizing this movement here, not the low back. Feel core work. Last two here. All right, drop it on down. Weights are gonna come down towards the side. We're gonna bring the right arm up a little bit wider, so not dead center, just a little bit out to the side. And at the same time, we are going to bring the left knee up. You'll feel the core muscles kick in to stabilize you here, alternate shoulders and core working. If it's too much for your core to control and you feel a lot of movement, swaying through the hips, bring it up lower and stabilize them. So we've all seen the dead bug exercise. Not a real <laughs> appealing name for an exercise, but really great way to develop core strength and stability. Uh, for some of us, they're hard to do on the floor. It's hard to get up and down or maybe not the most comfortable thing. Maybe we need a little extra support. So we're taking a little bit of a variation here for the chair. Great job. Now remember, core muscles, especially really, really low, pull in on the harder part of the movement. When you exhale, draw them in. Inhale, things start to relax. Exhale, up and in. Good, we have a few more sets here. Stay nice and strong, feel the arms, feel the core. Last set here, you're doing wonderful. Stay with me. And right hand is going to bicep curl, left hand drops down to the side. So we've got a little bit of sneaky core work here because as this weight comes up and this weight is pulling you down, your core muscles are having to fight to stay here in the center. Friend is back. Last three here. Last one, nice and controlled. Drop that right arm down, left arm here. more on this side, finish them out, and ease it on down there. All right, palms are going to turn in. We're going to bring this right arm up, arc it over above the left knee. Left knee is going to come up or you can come to the toes and then push that weight forward, pull the knee in. Great. Small movement, find the work in it. Shoulders, back muscles here, core, but everything should feel good. You've got a lot going on. 
great job creating stability through that shoulder joint, through the rotator cuff here. Beautiful. Stay nice and focused. I'm really thinking about my form here. I think I was <laughs> off into outer space thinking about my form there for a second. I'm here with you. Stay here with me too. These are tough. Let's take one more set here. Last one. Great job. Bring those arms in. Here we go. We are going to raise the right arm out to the side. Stay heavy in the left hip. Raise the left arm out to the side. Heavy in the right hip. If you need to switch that up and go ahead and shift away from the side that you're lifting, that's okay too. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. So it's either lift the right arm, push it forward or pull it back. It's going to be different for everyone, different comfort levels. The work is about the same. So I want you to go with what feels good for you. Keep the shoulders out of the ears. You can keep a soft bend in that elbow. Remember, flatten those abs on the exhale. So many things to remember. I know how challenging it can be and you're just like, oh, I have to think about so much, but slow it down if you need to. Establish those good form and breathing patterns. It will be so worth it in the end. It does so much to keep you safe, to keep those muscles functioning well, avoiding injury and pain. We don't want that. Great job. Arms should be getting tired. Take these weights here together. Now, we're gonna go ahead, squeeze them together, press them up as we come down over the right knee, back up, over the left, up and over, smooth and steady. This isn't a really long workout here today, so I really wanna pack it in full of good work. We're getting lots of things moving all at once. Remember, exhale, core flattens. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale here, great job. One more set after this one here. So we'll go one more time to the right. One more time to the left. And home stretch. Really feeling those shoulders here. Go ahead, take one dumbbell, set it underneath the chair. We're going to start here with the right arm. We're gonna draw this up. Tricep kick back, press it forward, and crunch. Bring it in. Kick back, forward, and tuck. Great job here, a lot of moving parts to this exercise. Keep it slow here with me. Oh, missed the tuck there. <laughs> I knew I forgot something. There's a lot going on, it, it's gonna happen. Kick back, great job here. Switch it over to your other arm. Start with that kick back, stretch it up, tuck. Slide that elbow back, tricep kick back, extend, tuck, and back in. Great job here. Lots 
of work in this one. So we won't do as many. We'll keep it easy. We have one more core exercise after this. I cool you down and you get to go on with the rest of your day knowing that you did something amazing. Last one here. And bring it back, tricep kick back. A great job here. Okay, let's go ahead, get this core moving. Dumbbell comes to the center. Turn to the right, knees, ankles, knees, Hips are not gonna move, so really solid through here. If you need to squeeze a yoga ball or a block to help with that, that can be very helpful for preventing them from taking over. To the right, push it out. To the center and to the left. Remember, pull those core muscles in. If you need a modification here, you do not have to extend all the way. You can keep it a little bit closer to the body. The further it goes, the more your core has to work to stabilize a longer lever. It's more work taking it further out. So if you need to, keep it close in. That's okay. Make sure the shoulders don't come up into the ears. Drop that dumbbell on underneath the chair. Wiggle out those arms. Great job here, little bit of cool down. We're not going to slam on the brakes. Give me a chance to give you just a little pinch more work and stretch open those muscles. It'll feel so much better. Arms out to the sides. Turn the palm up as you push to that side. Great job here. Maybe start bending the elbows in, stretch and reach, you're gonna feel those side core muscles working. Into the center, palm down towards the floor. Breathe in as you come back up, exhale as the other hand comes back down. here roll it forward send those hips back in the chair check in with that low back press up through the heel stretch those arms up reach it forward use those feet to roll yourself back up arms come back up great job here today thank you so much for joining me for this workout if you would like to do me a little favor on your way out, if you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button so that I can, uh, you will be helping me get these workouts to other people. You'll be letting everyone in the community know that I'm doing a good job. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, liking, or sharing this video with a friend, whatever works for you. It never costs you any money and I definitely appreciate it. I also appreciate you joining me here today. Hopefully you will meet me back here for the next amazing workout until I see you guys again. Keep taking good care of yourselves. Make choices that line up with your health and fitness goals. And of course, I will see you guys again soon.